What's up guys? This is a property that we just got under contract and we're out here in Chesterfield, Missouri. What's up guys? This is a property that we just got under contract uh, last night, the night before, I don't know, recently. And we're out here in Chesterfield, Missouri. This is a property that we are either going to wholesale for a quick $20,000 profit or rehab it for and flip it for somewhere around seventy dollars to $100,000 profit. I'm leaning towards that bigger profit. However, when you go and you rehab a property, there's a lot more expenses, there's a lot more time, there's a lot more headaches. So a quick 20K also sounds kind of nice. But this is essentially a house that uh, just needs a bunch of cosmetic work. It's got great bones, right? So uh, let's go take a look and do a quick walkthrough of the property. I think we're buying it for 265. It probably needs around $75,000 worth of work. You'd be all in for less than 350, and we think that the ARV is Hello, somewhere man. around 450. So let's and we're meeting our partner Bill up, and contractor check, Mike. Boy, bring your check button. Money, huh? Hey, don't forget, I got a pocket check for you and uh, yeah, I got a up, signed contract or whatever. Listen, I'm snaking your money. Oh, geez. And your money. Yeah, oh, well, no, we know. We know. <laughs> All right, All right guys, let's, do it. let's do a little walkthrough of the property, a little walk and talk. What okay. you got, Bill? What you All got? Right, so, me and Dave checked it out. This is a, 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 a unicorn. It's hard to find a really nice. Grandma house in the right area. Yes, it is. It's always, these are, it's got these all are the, really hard to come by. This one pushes all the right buttons. So anyway, we, we have multiple exit strategies. Quick wholesale, tempting. Uh, light fluff up, because it's a hot market, hot neighborhood. Tricky. And third, best in, best in, uh, best use of the deal. Highest product. Highest and best is probably a full high-end flip. So that's a matter of, do we, do we have the time, energy, and, and, and team ready, so. And the skills right here. It, it, this guy. Yeah, look at his smile, too. Man. I know, dude. Look at this guy. So, good looking yeah. guy over here. Let, let's walk it to see, okay, if we just do a fluff up, you know, what would we do? And then Mike can make some mental notes. And then on the high end, it's pretty, it'll be pretty straightforward. A, a super nice kitchen, super nice baths, uh, all the cosmetic stuff, patio, and then we have- Man, I'm gonna interrupt stuff. real quick. People yeah. hate that popcorn ceiling, yeah, don't they? Uh, Why? We just talked about that. We can't mess with that. It's too expensive to park that. You don't want to scrape it off? I don't like it. What if you put drywall all over it? That's still kind no. Of cool. mm -mm. Easier to skim. Yeah, yeah skim, skim it. I just leave it. I do hate it, but, but it's the entire house. So. But if the house is really beautiful, they won't even look up. You know, it's really not that big of a deal. So we have a laundry room here. We need new flooring in here. Probably need a new door, maybe. Yeah, yeah. make it look a little prettier. Goes out to the garage. All right, so it's kind of a mud room. Yeah, so the garage comes into the wash or laundry, which is also the mud room area. Nice. Here's our kitchen. And Bill, we were talking about maybe potentially getting the, removing this wall right yeah, here. Is this high this end? Is load bearing right yeah. here? It is low bearing. But to go high end, this has got to go. So we would have to basically put in a, a header board. Where do you think it would have to go? All the way from that wall to that wall? Sorry. Come over here, Mike. So this one's vaulted, so it gets tricky. So it's, it's, I don't think you can vault it all the way over because I think it, it goes down. But you got vaults on this side, which is great, right? So if you get a nice beam, um, that would look pretty cool. Transition from vaulted to nice open. Mm -hmm. Big old island. So this would be a big open island kitchen. This could be a little, a little small, uh, small uh, wall with a little the same. Uh, on it. Mm -hmm. So the configuration in the kitchen would probably, you'd probably get rid of this. Yeah, thing, got, right? the whole, got the whole kitchen. And then put the fridge over here maybe or something? Well, you know, the front, this fridge, is, this this kitchen's kind of small, so it would be tricky because you don't want to ruin the dining room. Right. So we have, to, is where we're we have to get a nice, design. Design. we have to have a good design, you know? I'd probably I'd take all this out here. Yeah. See guys, we got some wasted space too. When we take all this out, we might put with the big island, we could have some cabinets. Well, I think your big island's gonna get your sink and your dishwasher in the center of the room. Your yeah. fridge and oven are going back over yeah, there. Fridge. Yeah, that point, yeah, somewhere in this vicinity. We'll get rid of that. That's what I'd do. Yeah, people are still doing dishwashers and, and uh, water in the middle. Yeah, yeah. nice little uh, screen and porch out here, guys. Yeah, so we so we want to go big on go big in the kitchen as usual. Go big in the master bath. 
And then uh, in this case, we're gonna have to make the basement pretty nice. I got some ideas, we'll save those. So this would be really cool. So out right here, uh, Mike P didn't beat up my idea, which was uh, there's some there's some rotting on the bottom outside here. I would just open this up, keep the make it all open, keep the roof, but take all the walls out. So it's a covered patio. We already got concrete. It's a pretty nice private view. And then we add an outside patio on that side. So we have a sitting area for barbecue. See a covered here, an outside, not yeah. covered right over there. This will all be outside though if we were to gut all this out. But we keep the we keep the ceiling so you got cover. But you can see it's all rotted out. So yeah, so cheapest option, you're saying gut it out, put gut one of those a uh, nice uh, cedar post looking thing or something. Yeah, and a big, a big nice new patio, a little privacy fence on each side, just maybe throw a foot down the block. A yeah, bit. I like that idea. And that wouldn't cost a ton, you know? Now, here's what's funny. You think this is all flooded? You've got this wall by this backyard. The basement's immaculate. There's no cracks. Looks like There's no water down no there. Water. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's Stop. go back down in there. I don't know how in the world they cut the water out of this thing. Right. Windows need to be replaced, it looks I like. See some windows, not all. Okay. Buy, you know, I can't tell if those are... They're all working good. We're going to do siding on the back, you know. Sure oh, this is nice. Then you got the bar. I didn't even notice the bar over this there. Be a little wet bar. Yeah, so you just get the same granite as over here. Hold on, guys. We take, take this out. I've already done this before. All this goes away. We have a little a little wine bar back here. We don't need all this block. <laughs> wine bar here. This is open. I like that idea. All right, but you're, you're getting chairs over there then, right? Yeah. We don't need double seats. Would you do the bar height or just the counter height? Well, most people like the counter height, but I, I personally like the double height. I, I might go double height. Yeah, I, I like the bar height. Cause yeah, that way, and you can hide, and you can, bit, yeah, but you can hide stuff behind it though. Yeah, you can put more. It's more functional. Well, yeah. yeah. We actually have a pull drawer on but, top of a cabinet versus just a cabinet. But as as, as my designer bill comes out, the the the, uh, the the current trend is for one level. Like, it, is. it is. Yeah. However, the multi lever is more practical and it's kind of cool too. Yeah. yeah. But Check out the bedrooms. Yeah. Cool. So, vaulted area here, which is awesome, yeah. nice. You have a screened in area, which you can. Get two both ways, but that'll un that'll won't be screened most likely. That wall will be gone. Yeah, over nice here. And the access and to the basement in the center. Have That's nice. Three bedrooms. Hey, wait a minute, guys. In a one bathroom. More thing, one more thing here. Normally, I would just paint the paneling. Yeah. But in this case, uh, a couple different ways to do it. It's not that much uh, area to put the drywall here and here. Here. I'd imagine they put the paneling over the drywall already, right? Michael just rip it off and then just. No. No? Probably original. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Mike? Yeah, I mean, we can go. Well, if we're tearing walls out already oh, in here. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. I would say yeah. the drywall is only a small piece. Yeah. yeah. It's only going to be this little area and this little area. So let's put yeah. all this here. Okay. That makes sense. The, the floors are immaculate. Check out these wood floors, guys. They're beautiful. So basically, we got to get paper down on them or. Yeah. Maybe put some rubber down this time, Mike. Try not to mess up those floors, huh? Our guys always mess them up. So, uh, good the, size bathroom. The bedrooms are good size too. Is this the master or is that the master? Over here. That's the master. master. So no. that's bathroom one. Here's bedroom one. Yeah, and the, the bedrooms are good size. Obviously, the carpet's got to go. And that's a full bath in there, right? Yeah. Full bath in there. But it's only Jeez, that's a big closet for a, not the master bedroom, too. Guys, it's only a tree, too. This house has to be. This has to be a four three to get top end money. Yeah, basement. basement. Yep. But here's the thing. Look at that closet though. That's yeah, great for us second great, bedrooms or they're not. Plenty of space. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. So Mike P's got a good idea. I was going to throw the new carpet back in there, but people really don't like carpet. So let's. Hey guys, it. here's a pro tip. If you want to see what the carpet, what the floor looks like underneath the done. carpet, and there's no, no flooring in no. here, huh? So we're going to have to keep doing. Uh, so new carpet then you think or no I, well i was going to start to get that david so i was going to go new carpet the home depot specials however my piece says and i agree most people still don't like carpet so let's just use rubber planks or some kind of a vinyl high end flooring for the bedrooms in the bedrooms it's about the same cost. man i disagree 100 percent well i, I on gonna, because I again you've carpet. got you've got wood flooring so you're gonna have vinyl that doesn't match yeah, like the only ex the, oh, the only explanation is carpet like, I, why would you, carpet. why would you do a vinyl carpet, that doesn't match? But Mike's point was people don't like carpet generally. However, when it's all brand new, they like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they don't like it. They just like the old, old Yeah, thing. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's do the Home Depot special or Mike's special. No light in the ceiling here, so we probably want to add that. Yeah, we're going to need some ceiling fan lights. Ceiling fan right. lights. Got a closet. This is the second bedroom. Hey, these floors look really nice, though. Yeah, these must have been updated. These yeah, these can't be original. They look not. good. Oh, the yeah, yourself a little uh, little linen closet right next to your bathroom. 
Master's a decent size, and here is the Master. These yeah. windows don't look terrible. Closet number one. As usual, we got the Master Bass got to be redone. So it's real nice. Ooh, nice walk in closet nice big, here. Nice the big walk -in the wife's big closet room. is that one. Boy, the men's closet's that little, yeah, little that's right, one. That's right. Yeah, that's a total gut job in here, fellas. Yeah. That's, that's okay. But it's not, you know. Hey, it's decent. It's not as big as I'd like, but it's decent. Right. So this house has a pretty good footprint. I don't know. If these windows are okay, we may not have to replace them. Let's take it. Let's take it. Hey, I'm going to go use this bedroom at the lake house. It's like 20 bucks. You want it? <laughs> go ahead and take it. <laughs> these windows are in good repair. I'd say paint them up. Leave them on. Yeah, yeah, they don't look terrible. As long as they're functional and they're, yeah. Damn cool. leave these curtains? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> big fan of the roll-up ones. <laughs> I don't like these big giant closet blockers, but we'll leave it. I mean, this could also be, well, no, this is a living closet. You need this now, for a bathroom. I might go cheap in the hall bathroom here too, guys. It's not in bad shape. Maybe we do the uh, the rubber over this. Maybe we want to go with you know, some new vanity. That, uh, the tile in the shower is not bad. Doesn't look bad at all. I'm not best we, what do you think, Mike? I think we could get by with a vinyl, a nice high end vinyl cover right over this. this Can you year. glaze floors? Yeah. What if we just glaze the walls and the floor? And yeah, then I you, can. I can multi And, then, and that looks like brand new, super nice. Bill, we don't even need to put new flooring now. Let's just glaze over the top of it. Well, I hate that type of tile, but whatever. It's yeah, that's fine, too. It's not the best. That tile. The... But the walls look good. Yeah, yeah. I would leave the shower. Let's leave the place. walls. You just put some new faucets in, the usual, you know. Almost like we do for rentals. Really. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would glaze that tile, though. All that tile's in good shape. Yeah, nice. Like glaze it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 whatever Mike's special paint. What do, what do you call it? Yeah. Floor, vanity, toilet. Yeah, the usual. Just the make usual. sure like a high-end rental. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything else could be so beautiful. They're going to be like... Oh, yeah. Save the we lights. Have, uh, access panel there. HVAC here. Let's go downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this, guys. It's the right setup for a nice uh, open staircase. We're going to need to run lights all through. Yeah. Now, we could do black. We could do the black spindles if you want to, or just paint this black. It'd be cheaper. Paint it black. Paint it black. So here's the plan down here, guys. It's already got a footprint for this half is finished. That half is left uh, unfinished. We'll see. Yeah, that's a great shape. Man, I love ranch houses. The basements are so big. Yeah, I mean, God, you got a skating rink in this unfinished area. Now, but downfall, it's not a walkout, so. Yeah. Now, one more thing we would do, guys. I don't see a switch, Dave. We're just, we're flying blind here. Here, one thing we, oh, here we go. You try this one. Okay, yeah, there you go. Now, one thing we do, the plumbing's right here. I would suggest a full bath and shower right here so people can imagine making this into a uh, fourth bedroom. Oh, we may do a fourth. I would like to do it in the bedroom. Where's the... Egress, egress this last window. Mike, you got a guy for that? We got guys that can dig, cut this out. So cut this out into a real egress. Make this a real bedroom. Hey, you know what? If you put the wall right room. here with this beam, yeah, that's a room. pretty good sized room. And then you can put your door over here. Yeah, right there. Wall right. this puppy off, egress that window, yeah, put a closet in that corner. Pull back right here, right off the right off I like the it. Closet in that corner, maybe a couple electrical yeah. outlets on this. That, that'll, give here. A, that'll give us a four three, and that takes your price per square foot to 225 instead of $175. And what would the air be at that rate be with a four bedroom, three bath? And, and, and with this square footage, it'd be about uh, 440 ish, 450, 440. That's the best we can get. Okay. So then we, we'll do the uh, cost value of the sure. 450 awesome. versus, you know. So you know, finish this all in, add the bedroom, add the bath. Bath yeah. would basically yeah. be right here, but oh, that one way. more thing, I had, a, I had a smart tip from one of my guys. Yeah, what are we doing with that pole? Nathan, my son in law, I'm going to clip him out of the deal. Uh, sorry, in this case, both of them. Well, it's not in this video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, which is great, two people told him, this is a blocker. It wouldn't take much to move this over here, right? We have to dig a little bit, right? So let's move this over to here. Then you got the whole room open. It's probably worth it, my brain. Can we dig here and just kind of be bigger? I'm thinking. It sounds kind of silly. Either that bigger. or we just. Frame it out, Bill. Yeah, but then you got two blockers. You got yeah, two I, this, this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this one you can't move. Yeah. Really. Can't, I, no, I might do the same thing, but this one is such an annoying thing. Well, especially if you got a wall right here. Yeah. Like, yeah, opening that would be big, pretty you know, big. Open theater room or whatever. So I think if it's not too bad, we'd move this over. All right. Yeah. And then I would. Uh, it's a little crack right here, but it's not terrible. I don't know what I'd do. Okay. Actually, no, that's not even a crack. There's a little one here, but that's pretty common on windows. 
That's not bad. That's yeah, nothing. No that's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what they got? Well, I heard from all the, uh, all the crazy foundation guys, you just kind of look at the wall. It looks pretty straight. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Man, this is a big size for me. So, I don't think we have to. So, so I was telling Mike, I was telling Mike, if we're working this backwards, we need a budget around 75000 And so we have to kind of work backwards to get. Our to purchase get, is what, 260 And yeah, we got to pay some extra stuff to see the sure. Yeah. 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 Call 270, right? Yeah. So, you know, we have to, we think, if the budget's 75K, roughly, just say 15, 12 to 15 down. So. Mike F can get this whole thing done for about 65. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 75 is a number. He loves when we tell him. Half down, so his, yeah. Yeah. his number. <laughs> so, anyway, if the budget says 75, you tell me how close we, you know, how close we are to reality. You know? We're over that already with, a, with, a, with you everything. Already, that you already started counting the numbers, then. Troy's here. <laughs> all right. Good job. So what are you, what's your first plan? I mean, high now? end, grand end, you know, all that. We're finished in the basement. Yeah, you're over. What, well, you, yeah, I was going to say that. What, what's your, what's the number in your head if we do like a fixed bid? Not and we're not holding you to it, but we're holding you to it. It's on the back video tape. Don't worry about it. Another one. So guys, we come up with a, a good idea on the kitchen design. So we're going to open up the whole thing like we talked about. However, well, Bill kept telling us this was the dining room. We got a dining room. We do have. We have a dining room over we, there. We got, this I, is the eating kitchen. I got fooled by the light, guys. It's so we don't need that. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna take the cabinets all the way down. Okay. So we're gonna block this window because we got plenty of lights over here. So imagine cabinets all the way down. Which yeah, we'll try to match it most likely to that window over there, right? Like half. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll keep it above this, the countertops. This gives you, uh, this which would be go. A big pantry area and ta -da, the uh, the fridge, fridge area. So I got fridge, pantries. I, got, I still got open space over here, and I still got room for a small dining room table over here for eat in, so it'll all be open. So this is gonna go away. And, and this is all gonna go away. You're gonna have a bar height or, yeah. or yeah. counter height table. So that, this would be one gigantic, uh, one gigantic open kitchen with a small seating area and a nice bar area. Okay. People will love that. And you walk right out to your patio for your barbecue. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, so just to be clear, this is getting knocked out. The pantry, seat. pantry, and fridge will get moved to this vicinity That's somewhere. Right. Sink will get moved to an island that will be yeah. here, right. and it'll have five, four seats on it. Hey, high end. Dishwasher sink. and dishwasher, sink. And that's what I have in my house, and I love it. So this will probably get removed as well, and it'll just be an L like boom, all the way down, maybe even a little piece there, which is great. Well, they got seating here, they can seating over here too. I like the bar, man. I would just do what you were saying, Bill, and just build like a little butcher or butler's pantry. You don't even need this thing. Just put it against the back. Oh, I like get you guys are saying get rid of it. Well, I think it's kinda neat, but it's just dated. I always remember. Yeah, get them, get rid of it. Put a little. I'm not voted. I'm voted. Yeah, but yeah, but I think like from here over, Bill, like, you know, it would be nice to have that little butler's pantry. All right, this is the only room we haven't really been in. This is off the front door here, as you can see to the left. This will most likely be an office slash library. And we may do double doors here, French doors, maybe. And this will be our dining room. So I think we got a good plan for the high end. Because we have the dining room, we don't need to do, we don't need to do it in the kitchen. get away with leaving this here. Be honest with you, this. So, but here's the problem. The carpet in the bedrooms is fine. I don't like carpet in the no. dining or in a in an office necessarily. Well, I mean, again, I would try to get maybe all that to sink. Yeah, this yeah. is tricky. We always had this problem, Mike. Yeah. When you have four different floor types, how do you get it down to two types that not, yeah. that not look weird? You don't want three. Three's too many. So we know that would stay. So we can get the same floor type for the rest of the area. That would be good, right? Yeah, just for this, you know, th these three you know, and that. Definitely not. In my brain, I need a definitely room. not carpet in this room or that room, but we'll keep it in the three bedrooms, right? So hey, we're gonna do carpet in the three bedrooms, but not in this room right. or that room. Decide a single floor to cover all this uh, new area. All this new area. Yeah. Luxury vinyl. Yeah. Luxury planks that look like wood, not that same color. I like it. This is gonna be great. Yeah, the Cortex or something with the hardwood. Plank that looks really nice with the wood. All right, figure out the numbers. I'm gonna do an exterior. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so here's the outside. So we're kind of on a cul-de-sac. We're, 
you know, one or two up from it, but you do have adequate parking, which is great. Great neighborhood, nice houses. Here's the front of this one. It is a big ranch, which is awesome. Three bedroom, two bath currently, but we're gonna add that bathroom into the basement. And we'll just do a quick little exterior walk. We'll need to do some siding. We'll need to do the trim on the windows because it just looks kind of bad. We may replace some of these lower windows. The condenser for the HVAC looks like it could use a power wash, but it's not terrible looking. As long as it works, we'll just keep it. And, you know, as Bill had mentioned earlier, we'll probably do some little privacy fences, like 10 or 12 feet just to kind of give it a little bit of privacy. Uh, we'll want to power wash the gutters, but the roof and the gutters are in pretty decent shape. This will all get removed and be in, just be, basically be a covered outdoor area. Here is the, so the siding, we're gonna do something with that siding for sure. But you got a nice big blacktop driveway with a two car garage. I like car, I like when the garages are behind the house. That's how my personal residence is too, versus being open to the street. Gives you a little bit more privacy and it makes your driveway a little bit bigger too. So if you had kids, you could put, you know, basketball court in or basketball net and they come out here and they could play hockey and whatnot. Uh, but also being on the cul-de-sac is gonna be really nice and helpful for the resale for anybody that may have little ones. Uh, these posts will have to just be cleaned up. We do have a little bit of rot, you know, in certain places like that, but that's really no big deal. We can get that stuff cleaned up and fixed. All right, so what are we thinking on our numbers? Uh, Mike's gonna work on some numbers. I know the budget's uh, what it is. But I want David and Mike, you guys got a few minutes to hang for a bit? Yeah, for sure. I want to go through the, what happens if we just do it as is with a cheapie. We definitely need some more lighting in this spot. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no li no lighting in the bedrooms or anywhere yeah. right at all. Electric yeah. up in this. I really like that. And a, a single flooring everywhere except for the wood. You know, not kind of the bedroom. So the yeah, you got nice wood floors. Yeah, we do. We go with high end gray stuff. Lots of yeah, luxury vinyl plank. All right, guys, we're gonna run some numbers. We will do a follow up video to explain what we decide to do with this property. Stay tuned.